Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to complete the Uko Shrine here in Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So this shrine is pretty easy and it consists of three different parts. Our first part is we're going to come in here and we're going to use the Ultra Hand ability using L and we're going to pick up this object here, move it across, and this is going to create a bridge that we can walk across. This is how to get across the first section. Now in the second section, we're going to have two objects. We're going to take our first object here and we want it standing straight up. We're going to put it right here in the middle and we're going to use this as the centerpiece for a little bridge. And then we'll come over here and grab this one. And once you grab this one, we're just going to center it up on the top here. So rotate it so that it fits perfectly. So we'll go back around here. And then if you get it close enough, you can attach it and that'll be the first part of your bridge. We'll come right back over here and we can grab this one that we used for the first section. And we can use this one for the other part of our bridge. So if we put it on the other side, we can attach it right here and that's going to help us get across so we can run and we can jump across. Now, before we move on to the third section, one thing that we want to do really quick is we want to take the bridge that we just made so we can pick it all up at one time and we're going to drag it right over here to this side. You guys are going to see that we have a chest up here. So if you, however you did your bridge, you kind of want to just rotate it so that it's going to fit. So depending on how you made your bridge and how you rotate it, you can eventually face it. Or if you need to, you can restart to where we can get up on this ledge up here and we're going to be able to get a chest. So I made this thing pretty vertical. This isn't the greatest, but when we get to the top, I can jump across and we'll be able to come over here and open up this chest and we'll get some amber out of it. Now, after you open up this chest, we're going to head over to the third section so we can jump down and run around this corner. And we're going to have three items that we're going to use for this one. We're going to start by grabbing the wooden plank that's over here. We'll go ahead and use the ultra hand ability going to take this wooden plank and we want this flat on the ground like I already have it. We're going to drag it right underneath this pole and put it all the way to the ground just like this. And then we're going to use the hooks to connect. So we'll grab onto our first one here. And I don't know about you guys, but rotating these things for me is such a challenge. So we're going to rotate it around just like this and we're going to connect it onto this pole, but also onto our wooden platform here. So we'll pull it all the way down and we're going to attach it. Now, you may come across a problem where this thing takes off without you. If it does take off, you can just run down here and grab it and pull it back up. But if it doesn't and it stays still like this, we're going to go grab our other hook. And we're just going to rotate this and put this on the same way. Now, another way of doing this is Link can actually just grab onto one of the hooks and ride it across. So you can try it that way if you're struggling to make this platform. And once you rotate it, we're going to connect it. We'll put it right on here just like this. And then if it takes off, you can go ahead and just jump on top and it's going to take us across to the other side. So we'll just go for a little joy ride real quick. And once we make it to the other side, we can jump off, run up top here and you will have completed the shrine. But this is how to complete the Uko shrine here in Tears of the Kingdom. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.